Jane Fraser joins us now in her first TV interview since becoming CEO of City. Jane, very good afternoon to you. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, thank you very much indeed for having me, Wilf. I'm delighted to be here. Well, uh, we, we want to touch on, on so much, and I actually wanted to kick off with that strategic refresh that, that you announced last week on the earnings call. And we'll get into the specifics of it in just a second. But just 46 days uh, after taking the helm, I mean, wow, you, you're not wasting any time. I uh, know we're not dilly dallying, but also I had the benefit and the gift of uh, a reasonable transition period with my uh, wonderful successor, Mike Corbett. And so we used that time uh, to go and listen to investors, listen to our clients and begin the work on the strategy refresh. So we had the benefit of therefore being able to go fast out of the blocks. And, and on the specifics that you announced last week uh, within the global consumer businesses, are, are the ones, first of all, that you're exiting, are they just not good enough businesses? Oh, um, we know, our businesses that we have are wonderful franchises. They're excellent. But uh, we, we basically are looking at our strategy based on four principles. We want to be very, uh, very much... Uh, thoughtful in our responses. We want to make sure that our strategy, that we come out focused, that we're connected, that we're very, um, very clear around making the bank simpler and that we take a, a very candid view on, our, on the strategy. So as we look at the businesses over a decade ahead, we want to be a winner. We want to close the return gap with our peers. And to do that, you take a candid assessment of which of the businesses that you are going to be in a position to succeed and win in and which are ones that are perhaps in that better hands uh, with another bank. And, and I guess what you announced last week, it's not just divestment. That sort of felt like the headline, but uh, it's also significant investment, in particular uh, in wealth, and, and also, I guess, uh, giving you more space to focus on the institutional business in Asia as well. Yes, we're, we're focused on what we want to be, not what we don't want to be. Um, and we have a number of fantastic franchises. Our institutional franchise around the world is, uh, is somewhat iconic um, uh, through history, and we want to make sure in the decade ahead it, it remains in that position. Similarly, we think we've got a tremendous opportunity um, to win in wealth, particularly in Asia, um, with strong opportunities in the US. And so we're, uh, we're doubling down in the areas that we want to focus on, where we see the stronger growth and return opportunities for us. And then just the final question on, on this strategic refresh. Uh, you, you used the phrase last week of a fundamental transition. Uh, mm -hmm. Are we to expect similar size strategic shifts in other areas of your business? And, and, and how soon might we, might we see those? Uh, well, we're doing work on the strategy refresh, as you said, at the, at the moment. That's ongoing. Uh, we're looking at what are the strategies for our different businesses and how do we make sure that they're well connected, that they're in leading positions um, and set up to succeed in the decade ahead. Um, so I think more, more to come for sure. Um, but uh, we'll, see, we'll see where the work takes us, Wilf. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.